What is going on guys? Today we are watching Q Season 4 to the top, Episode 3. Uh, I've been very excited for the series and uh, it's going great so far. We're in a bit of a predicament right now with uh, Hinata. Obviously don't want to talk about it too much right now. I just want to say, completely unrelated. Um, look at me, actually recording the Q on a Friday. I'm so proud of myself. Um, literally waited just in the minute of when it came out and um so that was like 10 minutes ago and i'm already now so you know get out on time good, good for me <laughs> i hope you're all proud <laughs> uh so yeah uh, let's get right into this episode right now it's a bit loud Yeah, what is what is going on with Hinata? Hmm. Oh, really? He still pisses him off. <laughs> Banging. Openings for Haiku. I think I don't. I don't really have much to say for this episode. I think um, it's going to speak for itself. I think, you know, he is in a predicament, but he's about to get himself out of it. He's in a hole. He's in a rut. Um, but he's going to find his way out, and he's going to find his way to train. Um, use the time that he has, and the opportunity that he was given, to the best of his extent. Uh, mostly, I just kind of want to enjoy the uh, the opening. <laughs> so I know I've heard it like a hundred times already after I've had it on repeat so much, but usually I just talk through the whole thing. Um, whether it be my hero, Doctor Stone, whatever. But it is good, great opening. Bernard syndromes, gotta love them. Always great for hiking. The visuals are great as well. You come to appreciate different parts every time you watch it. I love that, showing all the teams. Squad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, he's levitating. Okay. Yeah, Daichi sounds like um Daichi's like a an all arounder, one man army. Like he can he's a good defense. <clears throat> and you gotta find a way around that. I'm saying that. I, I don't know. I've got long ass arms, so I don't, I can't really speak on behalf of Hinata. <laughs> mm hmm. You need to watch the players. <laughs> semi, semi. <laughs> yeah, watch him. 
He's a watch always, guys. Damn. That was cool. Well, they do some kind of like sidestep. What's he doing? Like jumping instead of walking or. So, yeah, it's like a, a little move. All these little things you notice about this, this show, like in volleyball, obviously, but and like when he's talking about tennis, like I'm not really a sporty person, but you, the things you they talk about that you never really notice, it's in, quite interesting. Split step. Oh, I get it. That's pretty cool. It's like when you're in like a really tense position or sitting position. And you just like sit up. And your whole body just kind of relaxes. And then when you land back down, you like kind of like propel yourself. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. This is like something like to a novice, you'd just be like, oh, you might be able to do, and you, but you wouldn't think about it. But then like a, to a train, like a skilled professional, is this things that you know? That's crazy. Yeah. You tell him me. Yeah, but one of you better one of you better let him sleep in the big room together. Even when you put him by your feet, you know. Yeah, why don't you say? Why didn't you say to him that you can practice her?
he. I was going to say he probably doesn't like Hinata, but. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait, is he supposed to be on the court? Is he actually going to hit something? I mean, the coach isn't here, so he can probably he can do what he wants. Whoa! <laughs> Microphone keeps shaking. Too high, too slow, yeah. Yeah. You've got two balls in your hand, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> The antenna, is that what the net's called? That's pretty cool. Or is the antenna the pole? I don't know. I'll Google it. Is this, uh... I don't know, Tina's one. From his body structure, I thought it was, um... Suki for a second. Canal, man. Yeah. You've been doing just as much work as everybody else. They should feed you. Come on. You don't, you're doing voluntary work. I know. I, I know. He wasn't supposed to be there, even as a volunteer, but, like, still. <sighs> you need to bring yourself a lunch or a dinner or something. Yeah, why not? Oh. Oh, let him stay over. Come on, man. What is this coach waiting for? Is he just... Is he waiting for something specific? Or is something going to happen that makes him realize he's being a dumbass? Mm-hmm. 
It must be a hard though, that kind of serve. Nice. I didn't see where that went. Did it go on their side? I thought that went over the net. <laughs> Stupidly cool. <laughs> Stupidly cool. Yeah. A little bit. I wonder how that is. Like, you scrape you, those floors, you scrape your knees, you hit your face, you bang your ribs. How do they do that so safely? I like how this show turns such minor situations or minor things like this into something so cool. I have no idea. <laughs> Somebody better feed this man. Oh my god. Give him scraps or something, jeez. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty insane for first years, though. True. Oh, we get to see something. Is he getting his ass kicked? This guy looks smooth.
Ух. Yeah. He's loving it. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, back to this. Guess we get to see barely any Kagiyama. Just a little check in. Like, do something to help him or do something to surpass slash impress him? Oh. That was sick. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> mhm. Mm <laughs> Ooh, volleyballs are hard too, man. Oh my god. Oh, you joking. Fuck. Okay, let's see the preview. Preview? Is there a preview? I don't know. <laughs> Forget. Let's just check. So. Oh, that's still on the screen. Still on the screen. Yep. So, that was it. That was Haikyuu Episode 3. He needs to pull through. He's pulling through. And he's gained new knowledge. The uh, the drill step as it called. That was pretty. That was pretty cool to see that actually work in the final part there. Um, I think Suki, what he meant when he said, "I feel like I need to do something for him or to him." I don't know what he said. Um, I think it's going along the lines of helping him, not trying to impress him, because he is a big. He is a character. He's a main role in the team, right? And he's his team. Like, he needs to help him. And he, he sees how desperate and motivated he is to learn and work his ass off. And it just, it makes sense to want to help him, even though he's like, big, you know, he's meant to be uh, scary, better than everyone else, blah, 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 you know, tall guy. But yeah, I think he's I think he's gonna help him. I hope. I assume. He's not a bad person, so yeah. <sighs> but yeah. Anyway guys. Love that episode. Really got to see uh progress, you know. Definite definitely from last week's episode from the Roy he was in. And um the little part at the end as well of Kagayama. Um Seemed like he was kind of being looked down upon. 
Maybe he's like, because it's his first time in the old Japan training thing. They might be looking down upon him. That's what I assume. So, yeah. Looking forward to next week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of me. I really appreciate it and I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you did too. Uh, have a nice rest of your night, day, afternoon, morning. And peace out.